Hello, hello, everybody. Ooh, my camera's off because we were fucking with it the other day. Hmm. How do I look now? Still ugly as fuck. All right, good. So, hope everybody's doing well today. The at Donovan will not be in. He's He's got some testicle issues. He was working with his computer, so I'm going to be your host for today for for an hour. So we've got the old throwback Boros soldiers. Uh, I was very excited to see just how many actual views this thing has on our YouTube page, which is cool. It has 417 views, as you can see right here. Uh, so people, this is our second, this is our second uh, top rated video. So obviously that means one thing, either people are accidentally clicking on this thinking that I know what I'm doing, or they're like, man, this guy's fucking great. Look at him casting Soldier of Pantheon and shit. And Thalia. I'm excited. So I left the list up, you know, not trying to sit here and brag about my 417 views on YouTube. What I do want to show you is the old list versus the new list. That's what I have it up for. Uh, we had 21 lands. I, I ticked it down a land. We had nine cre non one drops. Uh, we now have ten, I believe. We moved some of these numbers around here in the two drop slot, and we went up. So we went up a path to exile because I went through and watched my video and said, "Hey, here's what I like. Here's what I didn't like. Here's what I thought could change around." So we we add another path to exile. I thought twenty lands last time was too much. We also I love the Aether vials. I know the Boros Soldiers guys, they don't, they're not down on either vial, but I talked about it in the last video. Shit's lit, man. It's good. You know, add, add the either vial. Don't, don't listen to these guys. Uh, you know, they just went nine and oh, what do they know? Listen to me. Um, <laughs> so we'll see how I do in the league today. Uh, I like the mirroring crusaders in the sideboard. I left them. Boros charm. I did talk about last time was just not, just not, uh, it's too mana intensive. We've got Cavern of Souls in here. We've got Muta Vaults. So if you're not if you're not lucky all the time, you're not going to be casting that Boros Charm. So we took those out. Z Wolf Forty One. Some things will never change. You're right, Z Wolf. You're right. You sweet, sweet Z Wolf. You. Good to have you uh, coming and stopping by. I appreciate you. Uh, okay, so Brave the Elements. We went up another one. And we also went up, went up another Damping Sphere, so I'm excited about those changes. Those cards are just good across the board. So let me bring up my my new list here. All right. So here's what we changed. We put in Dryad Militant for Herald of the Pantheon uh, because he was just kind of scrubby. The pro... What was it? Uh, pro multicolored spells didn't wasn't really something that we really worried about. Mm -hmm. Now, if you play Dryad Militant, you're getting rid of you're taking Snapcaster out of it. Uh, you're also able to get rid of that Faithless Looting. Uh, you know some of those things that flash back, and so that that's going to be very helpful. She's a two one body, so she's aggressive. I have always loved this card, but it doesn't really have a home in modern, except for here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try her out today, see if she's good. We went up another Kithion, Hero of uh, Akros. So um, I listened to myself from the last video. I went back and looked, and I said, add another Kithion. Mm. So I don't know if I was right. I hope I'm right. Um, let's see, what else? Mm. Champion of the Parish mm. for that guy. There's there's no double thinking that guy. Mm. Uh, Tithe Taker, same thing. Mm. This guy's a fucking house. And so we, we had the Thalys mm. Lieutenants. A, a sweet large man named Richard Thompson said, "Why don't you just play five Anafenza Kentry Ken Spirit? Why don't you just play a fifth Thalys Lieutenant?" And so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna we're gonna try to bolster our way to victory. So whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on it. That sounds great to me in an aggro deck. 
We've got three Thalias in here of the Guardian of Thravenkind. And we also have three, we have two heretical Cathars in here. My all-time favorite, which I, talked, which I talked about in the last video, is fucking Brim Oz. I, I have a sweet spot for this, this little kitty cat. He's a sweet man. He does a lot of work putting bodies on the field. You'll see some people scoop to this guy today. I promise. Uh, field Marshal. Uh, uh, my last video, I said, this guy's a piece of trash. Don't play him. I then went and played like five, six, seven, eight games. And this guy is the linchpin, basically, of the deck. I don't know why there's not four of them in there. There probably should have been a fourth in there. We probably should have just went one one Brim Oz. But we didn't do that. I totally didn't think about that. So it's all right. We'll be good with this. Bradley, don't. I love it. I love it. You love the cat? I love the cat, too. I, I love... I love Lamp, also. Okay, so Aether Vial. Four of. Lightning Bolt. Four of. Path to Exile. Three of. We had to add another one. Uh, card's just too good. So, let's see how this goes. Alright, so we don't have... We don't have all of our cards here. Let's get after this. Let's delete this deck. Get out of here. Now, we're going to add a deck. What are we going to call this? Soldier! Soldier Boy? We'll call it Soldier Boy. Because we Soldier Boys. You know it. You know it, Richie. Dicks and Picks. Boros. Boom. Ship it. Why? Why didn't you give me the cards? Why are you being hateful? Uh, let's see. Quantity. We gotta do this manually? Like scrubs? A Rod Misa. Guess we gotta do this manually like scrubs. I'm in a Rod Misa. <laughs> Z Wolf, are you down? Ooh, you like pizza? Mm, I love pizza. I had pizza for breakfast and for lunch, Mr. Brad. Uh, yes, I'm Brad. I'm totally down for another commander night. No trades. I'm way down for that. I gotta make some new decks though. What decks are you playing right now? Like I know, I know you have Narset, but like, what are your other decks? I don't think I actually asked the last time. Oh baby, they gave me all full art Muta Vaults except for one. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Richie. Kaithion. So for you guys that are watching right now, which I see there's a couple of you, what do you guys think about Boros Soldiers in Modern? I mean, is that why you're watching? Or, you know, are you just... You just think I'm really handsome and you want to hear Richie fart in the background? I mean, what, what do you guys think? Definitely. <laughs> I think this deck's great. I can't believe the, the positive feedback I got from playing it the last time. It's pretty crazy. You know, I, I just ran this deck as like, because it was kind of a meme, you know? 
Uh, it was a meme deck because it did go 9-0. and And so people were like, holy shit, how the fuck did that happen? But after playing it, I knew exactly, exactly how it happened. You got two buys? <laughs> no, not two buys. I mean, this deck's just solid. I like it. Faced a lot of burn. Only have Narset and Gith Gishath anymore? It's the farts, he said. Great. I knew it. I knew it, Brad. <laughs> Alright, so Brave the Elements. So, you guys, this card... This card's great. Um, it acts It acts as a counter spell a lot of times uh, against spot removal. So, if you've got... You know, if you've got that pressure... Uh, that you've built up on the board. Now, it's not, of course, it's not going to save us against board wipes. That's what I was trying to do with the Boros Charm last time. But, you know, it's still really good. Where'd you go, rest in peace? I saw you shoot over here, you bastard. Why, rest in peace? Why you do this to me? There we go. Three rest in peace. Look at that. Look at that. We're all good to go now. Beautiful. All right, so I got us in a league. And we're going to play in a competitive league. We're going to play in one of these, you know, little, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do very well leagues. What are those called? Friendly. Friendly league? I don't play friendly leagues because I'm not, you know, I'm not friendly when I play. I want to win. I don't play any friendly games. It sounds boring. So, before we get into this league, always got to tell you guys to not only find us on our YouTube page, which is Mom's Basement Games YouTube, but first and foremost, come and check us out on uh, on our homepage here at TCG Player. It's momsbasementgames.tcgplayerpro.com. You guys can always find singles that you need there. Uh, we're sending out all kinds of orders every day so we would love to have you guys' support check us out uh if you we just uploaded a bunch of foils um and uh we're we're pretty excited about how we've been doing on sales so we're just trying to grow also on our momsbasementgames.tcgplayerpro.com you can find links to our facebook our facebook group uh our twitter and which it shows you right here about a half hour ago i said hey guys going on with Boros Soldiers, you know, come on, check us out. So that'll keep you up to date with who's on. We're on seven days a week, as you saw in the starting soon here, uh, which is we're on Monday through uh, Monday through Saturday. So every single day, we got all different guys playing. I'm just filling in, like I said today, for Donovan because so, he's having testicle difficulties. But on our, our homepage here, we've also got links that'll send you back to our YouTube. And if you're in future... You can then take a look at the bottom in the description below and you can find everything that'll wrap you back. It'll take you back to our homepage there too. So follow us on all the platforms. We're even on Tumblr. I've been saying that lately. That's a good line. Nobody's, not, nobody's on Tumblr. All right, let's get into this Magic the Gatherings. Let's go body rock some people. Hopefully we play against... What do we want to play against with this, you guys? No mana tithe, Z Wolf. Sorry, just in my spiel there. Uh, yeah, no mana tithe. I, you're, <sighs> mana tithe is like brave the elements. That's our counter spell, to be honest, because we're all, we're a creature deck. Like I don't really think we need to. There's not a lot of people playing board wipes. It's gonna be a lot of spot removal. So I think, really, that's that's just where we want to be. We want to have brave the elements. We want to give all of our dudes protection. So, Mana Tithe is one of my favorite magic cards, though. Secretly. I don't... Try not to tell people that. I've blown out many a people with, uh, with the old Mana Tithe. Alright. So, we're gonna open up here with three lands, uh, a Brimaz, a Path, a Bolt, and a... Th oh, I don't... I don't know. Maybe we have a one drop is better here? Maybe we, like, top deck the Path of the Lightning Bolt? I'm keeping this all day, er day. 
Spire Bluff Canal. Ooh, baby. This may not be a good hand to open up against Storm. Raging Tilt Monster? Hell yeah, I love that name. That's a sick name. Caleb Sweet! Hey! See, somebody does think I'm cute. You did show up to look at me. Got my sexy specs on. I got my... It's fucking freezing in the basement, man. It is freezing down here. I had to go put socks on before my stream. And I had to put a, a sweater on. Oh, we hit the top taker against the storm. Whew, scary. All right, let's play out this inspiring vantage. Yeah, yeah, and let's six it. Mr. Sweet, how are you today? It's good to see you. Good to virtually see you. We getting stormed on right now. I'm scared. get a planes here this is this is what i remember being the hardest part about this deck was fetching uh and hitting the correct mana sources because you know uh, it could just it could be scary to grab the wrong thing later on down the line you pay for it you don't want to take too much damage because you know you might get your fucking face bolted off uh can't be cold in there you're sorting burning through the bulk i'm good just relax that's good man Optin response, you got it. Yeah, I try to keep that I try to keep that bulk fired up and just process it through, but it's tough. Alright. Third land. The Baral. We didn't keep the path up. Let's see if we get if we get God on. They might go off here. They didn't go off. They got five cards in hand. So that's cute. Uh, let's see. During your turns, spells your opponent's cast cost one more to cast. So they could still trip out a little bit, but they can't do a whole lot. All right, so... I think we want to start off by bolting that son of a bee. They sixed it, so that's good news. be aggressive here. I don't think we need to worry about a path. Yeah, do we? Yeah, I think we're aggressive here. Peace out, brother. I'll see you in the morning. Caleb, what'd you say? Uh, you've been getting on in on Oathbreaker. What's Oathbreaker? What's up? There's the Baral. Uh, I may have blown it. I may have tried to bend too aggressive. Maybe not. Pay three for a remand. You got it.
Bye bye, son bitch. Uh, if you don't go off the last turn of the dork, it's kind of unlikely you can go off this turn with the dork. Cool. Yeah, you know, I'm just still scared because scary times. We'll see though. We'll see if I can get in these cheeks. I'm trying. I'm playing real safe. Playing really safe. Here we go. I mean, I killed three Baralls. I felt like, was it three Baralls? Two Baralls? I killed two Baralls, so that's not bad. Gifts, target, me. New EDH variant, Oathbreaker. Oh yeah, 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 I've seen that guy. I seen him. Uh, what cards you hyped to play for Modern Horizons? Uh, I'm not actually hyped to play any cards from Modern Horizons yet. All right. It's just, I don't know. Maybe I'm hyped about... I don't know what I'm hyped about. All right, so what do I choose here? I'm going to give them um, more rituals, right? So, put two cards into the graveyard. So, I want to put, um, let's see, um, yeah, I know, Path for a Storm kind of sucks. Alright, so, I want to put Grape Shot in the, no, I want to put, yeah, Vanamorphose. I want to put the rituals in the graveyard. That's what I want to put in the graveyard. Um, yeah, actually, I am excited. I lied. That, that red-white canopy land. I'm super excited to play that card. I think that's going to make burn. I think that's going to help burn a lot. So I really am excited about that. I'm... Storm count six. Yeah, the, the new lands will really be sick. <laughs> I'm super dead here. I said six. Thank you. Storm count 12, that's all they need, baby. Yeah, this was just not a good hand for uh, for basically against Storm. Like, it was a bad opener. We got a lot of stuff to deal with, but... Like, we have the, uh, the new main board card um, that exiles spells from the graveyard. All right, we got a little bit of hate, y'all, so I'm excited for this. All right, Damping Spheres, coming in, coming at ya. Uh, I don't know if we need Rest in Peace, to be honest. I feel like Rest in Peace is kind of... We've got Dryad Militant. Maybe we just bring in, like, one Rest in Peace, and then we have a playset, or maybe we bring a couple in? Oh, what do you guys think? Hmm, five hate cards out of the side. Yeah, you're right. Path does suck against this deck because you're just ramping them. They just love it. I do like Bolt in here still. I think Aether Vial is good to put some pressure on. 
Oh, rip is good, but too much. Graveyard hate is a bad thing. I know, that's what I was thinking. Uh, two rip. Yeah, I like two rip also. And then we have we have five. We have five sources with the Dryad Militant, so I think that's a good idea. The Damping Spheres are a good idea. So we just got to cut five cards. What do we cut? Kithion? Mm, we cut some of our one drops. Tide Taker's good. Let's cut this guy. Let's cut a Kithion. So cut some of the legendary stuff. Uh, Thalia, you're kind of slow, but you could help be helpful. I don't know if we cut fucking paths here. I feel like we don't. I feel like path is still good. Uh, tie taker is kind of meh. Yeah, path blows and offenses probably too slow. Kruger, I like I like where your head's at. Um, I'm on the play though, so I feel like I want to keep him in. All right, let's try that. Just take a bunch of one-offs out, I guess, and take two paths out. Cool, cool, cool. They don't really need to cast spells on my turn. No, they do need to cantrip a little bit, though, sometimes, because, like, he opted in response, so it's not the worst. All right, so here's what I'm talking about, um, where this deck has an issue with mana sources being with the doubles, so... We got a Plains, we got double Mutavolt, we got, I mean, luckily we have an Aether Vial, so we can keep this hand. Uh, but if, you know, ah, God, even we have a Lightning Bolt too, so we don't have a red source. So this is like we're on a five, so is this a good enough? So we need to draw another land to make this hand better. Be down the Lightning Bolt. I think this is just a keep. I think this is, basically this is like a, a Malt of, a Malt of six anyways. Because I think if we if we had this hand minus lightning bolt, we're gonna keep this hand. So I think we're gonna keep. Yeah, it, it is awkward. Oh yeah, you are happy you got pillage for Ponza. I forgot about that. That shit's lit. I think Brimaz is really good in this um, in this matchup too because it's gonna put a if if we can get there it's gonna put a lot of pressure on them because it just puts a it puts a clock on them. We hit our second source. That's good news. All right, so we want to go. Sacred Foundry tapped or Mutavolt? We want to go Mutavolt. Fucking yeah. Sick Mutavolt, bro. It's like that's like a $500 Mutavolt virtually. The virtual dollars make it rain. Should have led on Muta in case you don't draw a, a two drop. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, trying to work out these these uh, plays is it's not that easy. Yeah, because if we lead with Muta Vault there, you're right. Uh, we could have attacked this turn and been fine.
Mm. All the land, baby. All of the land. So we do have a mountain in here, so I like fetching mountain to save ourselves some life. So that's a second like mini punt too is like if I would have played the sacred foundry last last turn Yeah, just not playing the mute vault sets you back. That's so that's so crazy the incremental uh, You know things that can happen when you're not I mean, I don't I don't play this I haven't played this deck in three months, but I mean, it's just crazy Pick that bitch up. Cool. All right, you guys ready to start meowing? Meow, meow, meow. So we want to play a Muta Vault here. We want to... Cast Rest in Peace. We want to activate our Muta Vault and move to combat. So it's not looking bad for us, you guys. We're in pretty good shape here. Not in amazing shape, but we're in okay shape. So, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Hey, sexy ginger. Oh, hi, cool. How are you? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. Hey, so uh, for those of you watching me, uh, hopefully uh, you're not watching me die right now, but uh, we're doing a giveaway this month. It's in two days. It's on the 30th. Make sure you uh, follow us on uh, on Twitch here, um, and that's that's how you uh, that's how you get a chance to win. We're giving away a box of War of the Spark. So please, please follow. I would really appreciate if you guys followed. If you're a subscriber. You get a second entry. If you're part of our Patreon, you get a third entry to win a, a, a full full box of War of the Sparks. So check that out. That happens in two days. I'll let you guys know about that after, uh, after I get stormed out on here. Waiting on Raging Tilt Monster. God, I love that name. There are some good names on Moto, man. Dirty Dishes, Raging Tilt Monster. Storm count five. That's a lot of gobos. Ooh, baby, I don't know if we can beat that. Can we beat that? Ten gobos. God, I feel like, are we tacking with everybody? That's 11. They could lightning bolt, 12, 13, 14. Grape shot us again for the rest with him out. Do we get aggressive here? 
two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move to combat here. No balls. Attacking is super risky. <laughs> oh, I'm at 19. I could, I mean, if I just attack with Brimaz, then I play it safe. All right, let's play it safe. You talked me into it. God damn it. Yeah, because I can just put some Vigilance Cats on the board and have blockers up and be safe and... You're not wrong about that. So basically they're just going to trade that off. Uh, so I can leave I can leave blockers up. I don't need to play that second vial. So let's just move to our next turn. Yeah, you're right. They can trade they can trade for the board, so Yeah, basically that would have just been like a board wipe at that point pieces of the puzzle Woo, baby storm count too man i didn't know. Maybe we should have, uh, maybe we should have mulliganed to a Thalia or something. I liked our opener, though. Our opener was not amazing, but it was okay. It was okay. I was pretty, uh, I felt, felt like it was pretty aggressive. And I think that's what we, we kind of needed to be on the play. We kind of need to be aggressive, and I think that's, that's kind of where we're at. Yeah, so right now they're kind of in a spot, which is cool. I like that a lot better. I like them being in a spot rather than us being in a bad spot. Cool. Uh, nope. Uh, any chance you can play better? No, that's not. That's not a thing. I mean, I, I, maybe I could draw better instead of drawing land, land, aether vial, land. Is that? I mean, is that a possibility? I don't know. <laughs> We'll see, though. We will see. Let's play this Aether Vial. Let's just let them know we don't have shit. Why be sneaky about it? We got nothing, y'all. We got nothing. God, I wish I could play better. That'd be great. Be, I'd be bringing better content, you know, I'd be, I don't know, shit. I might actually, like, you know, make a few dollars off of Magic the Gathering, other than having to hustle bulk and, and uh, you know, hustle Magic cards. <laughs> so he's got plenty of time. He's got 17 minutes versus 11 minutes, so... He's taking his time. He's thinking it through. He's got five cards in hand. He's like, how the fuck am I going to go off on this champion of the parish? I thought the kitty cat produced humans, but it just produces cats. Oh, and I forgot to meow when he made a cat. I'm sorry, guys. Meow. Meow. Sorry. There, I, I meowed twice to, uh, to bring it back. So never brim odds. Man, I really wish this guy was still alive right now. Hey-o! He says, I'm on that beatdown plan. Mm. 
We're moving to blockers. What? Why? Why did you do that? No! No! You guys. You guys. You guys, I didn't block. You guys, I didn't block. That's so bad. It's alright, though. What, now, which one is this? Ooh, Aether Vial. Oh, no, no, no. Needed to block two damage there. Uh, yes, use that either by his ability. No, don't use that once. Wow, sick draws. Yeah, we're gonna lose here. So even if we block two damage there, so then we would have blocked there and there. So let's mm -hmm. see. That's after damage, so we would have blocked two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, so we would have saved ourselves a turn. Man, how do I draw this much fucking land? This is awful. So we would have just saved ourselves a turn there. And then we would have drew a land, and we would have been... We'd have been sad, but we'll get to see what our next card is. We're not dead yet. Let's see, what? We got seven guys, eight, nine. We got ten damage coming at us, and we got two blockers, so. Need some spot removal, y'all. Need some spot removal. And not move through our blocks, but, you know, it's something different. Storm count two. Whew. Might be able to just move to damage and then shoot us for the rest if they got it. May have been null and void. Love the snow. I know love the snow lands. So amazing. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create a one-one colorless. Ooh, that's another, that's a good out. Target artifact you control becomes a copy, becomes a copy of another target artifact or creature you control until mm -hmm. end of turn. Except it's an artifact in addition. Hmm. Mm. Just gonna make bodies and just overwhelm the board with servos. Now there was another card that they were doing this with. Um can't remember the name of it though but i know that this was this was something that they ran in god what was that deck that that card that got banned uh ironworks car clan ironworks this was in the ironworks combo to where uh that was like a secondary win con for them in case they got hated out All right, let's block some. Let's put some bodies in front of some shit here. Let's try to this time. There we go. We did it, you guys. We went to blocker step. We at two. That is not it. So I did see uh, somebody had a, um, so we would have drew Kithian. So we're still dead basically, right? So we're gonna scoop here, but we just drew a lot of land, but um, let's 
let's see. Let's concede the game. Let's see what we would have drawn. Another champion. Path. Yeah, I just don't... I just don't think we get there because we're just drawing bodies and we just got overloaded by Gal. Like, we would have took a few bodies off the board, but I just don't think we stabilized there. At this point, they have five cards in hand and they're just going to make servos and overwhelm us, so there's no way we could keep up. Yeah, sometimes you get too old by storm. Got it. Could play better. We'll get there next game. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm supposed to tell you guys, don't, don't want to forget here that uh, we are giving away a box... Like I said, we're doing our monthly giveaway. We give, we do a monthly giveaway every month. That's why it's a monthly giveaway. We're going to be giving away a box of War of the Spark this month. So if you're watching now, follow us on uh, on Twitch here. Or if you're watching in the future, check the description below. That'll send you back to our Twitch page. Follow us there, and uh, you'll be entered to win in a uh, in our giveaway that's in two days. All right, guys. So. Storm, we're down one. Oh one, baby. Oh one. We got this. Gonna get back in it and smash some, smash some face. We lost the die roll. Bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Dryad militant. Double cavern. No way to cast our path to exile. So. Again, man, this mana base is so weird. I don't mind this hand, though. This hand looks fine. We're on the draw. I'm keeping this. This looks good. So if we don't draw another land, eh, we'll be pretty sad. Turn one noble. Can't path that. <laughs> Holy shit. Soldier. Soldier boy. We in there, soldier boys. Always the champion. This antiquated system of, do I want to cast it? Would I like to cast it? Would you like to use the mana to cast it? Sure. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Thanks, Moto. Bant Spirits? Oh, no. Bant Walkers? Oh, God. This hand's getting worse by the fucking second. Uh, yeah, we're just going soldier again. Holy shit. Holy shit, you guys. Triggers! this thing do I think we attack in the face y'all hmm all right all right all right Let's see where we at here Muta Vault, baby. Okay. 
All right, let's see if they can be beat a field marshal. So aggressive. Eight damage. Woof. Woof. That's a pretty solid curve, you guys. Serving the curve. I like it. All right, we sixed it to them. That's a Knight of the Reliquary with Flash. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's pretty neat. I like that. Face down card, entered the ex exiled zone. Very nice, very nice. Wow. Wow. Let's tick these boys up. Comes in as a 3-2. I like, I like, I like it. Moving to combat, baby. So other soldiers get plus one, plus one. So I don't think we're going to want to attack with that guy because he's just going to die to a knight. So move to blocks, yeah. I'm going to hold the field marshal back here. I think that's smart. Flashing in deputy. You got it. You're going to eat my champion? Four damage trade. You got it. Ooh, get a fetch land. Move to blockers. Mm. That's a lot of heat, you guys. That's a lot of combat tricks. So if we were to attack with the Mute Vault, we would have three in. Hmm. We're gonna start taking some beatings from that thing, huh? No blockers. Vigilance, exalted. I'd love to draw a mana source right now. Something that would give us some red or some white. That'd be pretty neat. <laughs> That's not it. Man, we draw in bad, baby boys and girls. We draw in bad. At least there's Monster Cat here to save my life. Some music, some tunes. Alright, so... We don't attack anymore? What a bummer. Yeah, we just don't attack anymore. God, how disappointing is that? We needed to draw a red or a white source so that we could, we could path the Knight of the Reliquary. Because this thing's going to start getting out of hand and it's got vigilance, so we're just going to start feeding bodies to it. Woof. I wonder 
how good this thing is. What do you guys think about Vivian? You guys like that thing in modern or do you think it's too slow? I feel like it's, I mean, if you, if you go noble Vivian, I mean, that's pretty good. But God, oh, scavenging news. Oh, baby. Oh, they had a path. They got to use their own path. Yeah, I would love to go get a planes. I want to start path and shit too. take it here I think we're gonna take it and we're gonna like it hmm maybe not let's let's block with the militant it's kind of scary take that much damage I think we'll uh, I think we'll try to absorb it We have just got to draw something here, y'all. I know we can do it. We're playing creatures. Draw something other than lands and paths. I mean, I'm glad we drew a path because now we can get rid of that knight. Get our champion back, hopefully. hurtful that is hurtful I'd love to pay the two Bye, Knight of the Reliquary. You were too good. Give me my champion back, yo. I want it. Indestructible, eh? Very nice, very nice. Bring in the heat, baby. Bring in the heat. Not a whole lot we can do about that. It's gonna be a big old scavenging ooze right there. How do we 
beat Gavany Township, you guys. I don't know if we do. Not with any bodies, not with the way we're drawn. hit okay there. Waited too long to activate it, eh? Rough. Hard times playing Muta Vaults, cards I never play with. Take it up to two. And <laughs> draw another Muta Vault. At least it's a land that's a body. Scavenging news. Detention? Ooh, shit. Yeah, you got it. That Aether Vial's going bye-bye. God. I don't think we path the deputy at detention here to get our, our, uh, our champion back yet. I think we're just going to have to hold off and wait. More bodies, baby, more bodies. Ghost quarter, oof. That is bad. Swinging with the team. So is that lethal? Yeah. 
two, three, four. Why would you attack with the team? If you're not gonna pump up your guys. That doesn't make any sense. Why not just leave back your nobles? Be a land. Or an either vile. Woo! All right, guys, let's go to the next one there. Those seem pretty good. Protection from green. I like that. I like these also. In the creature matchup, just alpha strike. Give them pro, whatever. Seems pretty good. All right, so we're on the play. I don't really think we want these paths in here on the play. I'd like these Brave the Elements better, switching those out. Um, Because we don't really want to ramp them. They're kind of bad. They're okay against against fatties, getting rid of, like, you know, scavenging ooze, but hopefully we can we could just draw our bolt before then. We want our stuff to get bigger. We want to play Tide Taker. We want to play Anafenza. Uh, Thalia. Baby Thalia is okay. I think Tide Taker kind of sucks. Nah, I mean, well, I mean, if they're flashing everything in. But if they don't draw Vivian or a way to have Flash, they're on, they have oh, activate opponents. What's their mana abilities? Afterlife. He's yeah, he's gonna replace himself. He's pretty good too. So we gotta take two cards out. So what's bad here? What do you guys think is bad here? I have to say Thalia is subpar. I like these bigger bodies, these more aggressive bodies, like Mirror Crusader. I guess Tide Taker is probably... Eh, I think I'll just take out a second Thalia. There's not a whole lot of a whole lot of spells that they're going to be playing, other than the... They were playing um, Coco, and they were also playing um, Path to Exile, so... I just feel like Tide Taker is going to be a little bit better in this spot. So let's run it back like this. Brave the Element should be good here. Uh, I'd love to play first. That's so bad. One Muta Vault. Oh, come on, Mana Base. Why are you doing this to me? One Muta Vault. Why? It's just a shit show this Mana Base is. Come on, baby. <laughs> you guys, you guys, what am I doing? What did I, what did I ever do to Moto? What did I ever do to you today, Moto? You're hateful. You're a hate monger, Moto. Phew. Fucking hate monger. Look at this. Look at this shit. We got to mold a four and keep double type taker in a bolt. Oh my god, so gross. So if we mulligan this, if we get put this on the bottom, what do we want to draw? What's better? Like I said, he's probably our most lackluster creature that we had to keep in here. Let's put him on the bottom. Let's see if we draw something better. Shit, you guys. Rough round here. Very rough round. Rough round, rah, rah, rough round, rough round, rough round. Say that five times fast. Rough round, rough round, rough round, rough round. I got it.
and keep attacking. Come on, go team, go. Go team, go. Let's go, soldier boys. I feel a Coco coming. Oh, we got pump faked. That's the first time we got pump faked today. Path and Tide Taker? Sure. I'm okay with that. No, I no pay no life. I don't want to pay. <sighs> oh God, why, Bodo? Why, Bodo? Why you do this? This is so ruthless of you. You are so fucking ruthless, Bodo. We were looking so good on a Maldivor, you guys. Did you see that? Then all of a sudden, we just started drawing lands. Woo, shit. This is painful. This is the painful part about streaming is right here. I mean, shit, just magic in general. Draw a bolt off the top, like bosses. You never know. Clever MTG. I know you. Yee yee. What's up, buddy? How are you? Doing all right today? Oof. Oh, all the Cocos. All the Cocos in the world. Uh, this happens to me every time I play Burn. A new red white cycle land is going to be gas. It's going to be fucking fire, doggy. It's going to be so good. Look at you getting rid of my Dryad Militant. Dryad Militant, too good, y'all. Gotta, you gotta bounce it. Yeah, I'm really excited about that Red White Land. I've had a couple people ask me today about it, so yeah, it's it's good. That's a lot of damage, boss. That's a lot of damage. Hmm. I think we go, I think we go block here. I think we go block. Try to buy some turns, maybe buy some lightning bolts off the top ropes. So I can stop saying that Moto's not giving me anything. All right, do we fetch here, you guys? Do we thin the deck out? I think we do. All right, let's get the planes for good luck, you guys. Top ropes. Where are we at? Where are we at? Are we gonna get it? Lightning bolt. That's not a lightning bolt. That's some blockers though. So maybe we buy ourselves a turn. 
Ooh, I can't cast this Dryad Militant. Womp womp. So we're taking six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, we taking eight right now. Exalted. Yeah, we taking eight right now. So we still in there with the swimwear. All right, let's six it. Let's see if we can get rid of the Kithion. Hot gas, hot fire. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's a path, you guys. That is a path. You know what? We got six minutes and 47 seconds. We're about to dive. But let's read Kithion to you guys. That's what I want to do. So, uh, Kithion is very fucking cool if you can play him on turn one or turn two. Uh, he, he's indestructible. Um, so you can flip him if at least, what, two other creatures attack um, this combat. So um, let's see. What is his plus ability? So up to one target creature and opponent controls attacks Gideon. Okay, so it fogs. That's really cute. I like that. Till your next turn, target creature gains indestructible. Untap that creature. Also very cute. But the zero ability is where you want to be at. Uh, until end of turn, he becomes a 4-4 human soldier, which is bonkers in this deck. Um, with indestructible, that's still a planeswalker. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to him. This card is just nuts in here. But we didn't get to see it, so. All right, so let's see if they move through combat. You know, Goonies never say die. We don't want to say die. Stranger things have happened to me online, so not trying to waste anybody's time, but. And I mean, he's still playing cards out. Or she. Burr. He, she. Hey, now we dead. All right. Well, hey. Burr, it's cold in here, doggy. All right, so we got the next match. We're 0-2. We haven't won a game yet with these... With these changes, but I feel I feel a change gonna come. All right, so I want to let you guys know once again if you're watching, or if you're watching tomorrow or the next day, we're doing a box giveaway. Uh, please follow us um, on Twitch here, and also if you want to subscribe, you'll get a second entry into our giveaway, and that is right here. Look at this! Look at this little thumbnail that we made. It's so cute. Look at my sweet little ginger face right there. Um, it's going to happen on May 30th, which is Thursday during, uh, Richie Thompson's stream. Uh, he is our large man here holding the bag of Doritos. He's very cute. Um, he's going to be taking you through a stream and doing the giveaway at the end. So if you guys are, if you guys are watching at the end, he's going to do the giveaway and find out who actually wins the full box of War of the Spark. So I'm excited to hear who wins. Let's get into the next league match. Yeah, so this is a weird one. I, I've never streamed on a Tuesday before. But I don't mind it. It's not bad. Tuesday at 5 o'clock? I'd stream at Tuesday at 5 o'clock. That's not bad. Usually I stream on Fridays at 3... at 1.30. I was, uh, I was playing the dinosaurs for a while in Legacy, getting that going, trying to, trying to get the stream boosted up. It did really well. Um, I had a fun time playing it. Uh, but we shelved... We shelved the dinosaurs for a little while, so we'll, we'll revisit it here in the next probably couple months. Maybe if we get some new cards. I like Il, Ilrog. That card, that, that is really sweet. That card's awesome. A lot of the new Planeswalkers are so good, man. So good. Narset's so good. Um, that new Vivian that we just played against was excellent in the creature matchup. It just, it was, it's what won the game. Uh... There's just some really, I mean, the new Karn is unbelievable. I'm super pumped up about the new Karn. I like being able to lock people out of the game in in, uh, in Modern, which is something that needed to happen. Oh no, what did I do? 
What did I do wrong? <laughs> That's so bad, too. But we have to keep it. All right, we learned our lesson. We go Mutavolt, Aether Vial. Six it. Boom. Six him. No! You guys, Dredge! Team Rocket. Let's get in there for two, y'all. Alright, let's try to exile. So we didn't get anything, because this... How many cards does this put in? Mm. Top two cards, yeah. So we didn't get anything, so they just narco me, bud. That's pretty good. Cathartic Reunion got exiled. Okay, that's cool. We'll leave the exile up and see what we hit off of uh, the old Dryad Militant. Ooh, it's foil? Mm. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, baby, they going off. Fancy manner. Creeping chill. Life from the loam. Faithful saluting. Good. Good. That's what I like to see. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, burnt flapjacks. Hey. Thank you for following. I did my little follow dance. I appreciate you. Two more days. Keep an eye out for the Burnt Flapjacks. Uh, we're going to see your name winning that box of War of the Sparks. So keep an eye out on Thursday. It's going to be you. Man, that name is amazing. Fucking Burnt Flapjacks. How do you have such an awesome fucking name, man? I want to change my name to that. Burnt Flapjacks too. <laughs> oh, shit. Too good. Uh, creatures and non-basics come into play tapped. I like that. Mm -hmm. Let's try to slow our opponent down. Let's play that Thalia first. You got it, Bob. Bye, Dryad Militant. You were too good. Burnt, what you got to say? I was going to say something about weird inter interference noise, but then realized it was just low-volume music. Yeah, you know, I like to try to rock out with my cock. Not out, but, you know, I like to rock out with the cock out sometimes. Not on stream. I want to get our channel banned, but hey, you know, we're, we're on seven days a week, so 
we gotta we gotta keep it semi PC once in a while, so no wieners out. Creeping chill. That's hot trash. You got it. Double creeping chill, me bro. But yeah, I, I appreciate the follow, man. Appreciate it. You can watch me get dumpstered on by, uh, <laughs> by Dredge right now, <laughs> at least for a minute. God. Damn, blood gas too? Mm. Hello, Narco, or hello, prized amalgams. This field marshal's gonna be hot. Double field marshal? Ooh, other soldiers get plus and first strike? I would love to yield to Narc or to Prize Amalgam Triggers. Man, I can't wait to put some rest in pieces in the si in from the sideboard next game. I'm excited for that. Rub my little hands together. I appreciate the content. Always fun. Just really catch stream because I'm in Europe. Keep up the great work. Thank you, sir. I'm glad you're watching from Europe. And uh, we always appreciate having you guys come ac from across the pond. Uh, if you're if you're into uh, just modern. Um, we have modern a couple days a week. If you're into legacy, we just did legacy the entire week last week. We did legacy, so that was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, we play standard too, so we're all over the place. So hopefully we can keep this train rolling. All right, so let us let us play some bodies out here. Let's field marshal for first, right? I would love to use your ability, Aether Vile. How do you beat a bunch of prized amalgams? Maybe like this? Maybe like this. Maybe this is how you beat Prized Amalgam. With Field Marshal. <laughs> oh, I need some more bodies, baby. I don't need to draw Aether Vials. Give me some bodies. That's a life. Love that their lands come into play tab. Thalia, heretical catheter, just jamming the just jamming the catheter right in the pee hole right now. I would not like to use Aether Vile's trigger, please. Hey yo! There's that sweet little man we were just talking about. Love this guy. He's so cute. He is so cute. They, they have, it's a reader, you guys. It is a reader. Man, we're going to start bashing in a minute. Mm, so this, this, this Mutavault's going to be a, oof. All right, we coming for you, Dredge. We coming for you. We're just going to, we got to wait a few minutes, but we got to stack the board up on this Moldify.
Hey, yo, Narco Amoeba. Welcome there, buddy. It's a pretty clogged up field. Man, I need some taxing effects right now. Like I need regular, I need baby Thalia. So I was just, just putting all that pressure on there. That's what we need. Sorry guys, let me make this uh, let me make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. This board's about to get ginormous. I don't think we need to see their exiled stuff. Yeah, that dryad millet uh, attacking with that dryad militant earlier was a baby mistake. Sure was. Can flagrate. No. That's how we lose, you guys. That is how we lose. Well, we got a block. We don't have a choice. can flagrate shit that's a rough one y'all we were looking good until that can flagrate i had a, the highest of hopes all right so we got it we got a little bit of uh we got a little bit of help here coming in so we got pro black pro green that's all right in this matchup pro black's pretty solid uh rest in peace is okay it's pretty good against dredge so we're gonna bring these two pups in. Um, Brave the Elements is pretty decent. Um, white creatures are gonna gain. I feel like it's like I keep, I keep. Uh, they have lethal next turn with conflagrate, right? Yeah, ouch, yeah, ouch, really, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so I feel like Brave the Elements is pretty good here. Again, it's going to help us survive. It's going to help our creatures not get conflagrated to death. And I like that. I think I like that in this spot better than I do Path. I mean, Path is just one for wanting uh, when we're they're trying to just do more than, you know, they're trying to bring back two or three creatures at one time. And we can't keep up with that. So uh, we need to be able to put bodies on the ground, uh, give our dudes pro, um, either pro red or pro black or whatever, pro blue uh one of the two and, and to help us get there so i think that's where we're going to want to be uh with that we just need to have as many creatures as we can uh i like aether vial uh here that's going to help us race all the one drop creatures are going to help us race so we need to take five cards out i'm not sh not 100 percent sure lightning bolt's going to be great here either again when we're one for wanting things that come back, that's pretty rough. Um, Lightning Bolt will give us a little bit of reach if we're trying to be aggressive when we come out swinging, but we really need the bodies in here. We really need the rest in pieces, and I think the Brave the Elements are just, they're better options than the Path and the Lightning Bolt. So uh, we just need to cut one more card. So let's see, who is the worst in this whole setup? Kithion's good. Brimaz puts bodies. Field Marshal's great. Uh, Thalia's 
She's okay. She slows things down. She's she's pretty good. She taxes. I think Tithe... I don't know. I think Tithe Taker... I think Tithe Taker could be... Kithion, too. He gives us fog abilities. I think we're going to take out the one Tide Taker. Or maybe we take out... Eh, maybe we take out the Anafenza. Let's take out a Tide Taker. I'd love to play first. Uh, so also, Pro Blue means that they cannot block except the hardest Stinkweed. Yeah, maybe too brave. Tide Taker. What are they doing on your turn? Oh no. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, I didn't get to sideboard because I didn't hit. <laughs> I didn't hit it. The fucking button. Shit. Rough day, man. Rough day. Uh, all right. So this looks. This looks fine. Bummer. Bummer, 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 bummer. No rips in in game two. Let's see if we can get, if we can punch through by not being able to hit it. Damn, 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 damn. Needs a Red Bull in my life, I guess. Soldier Boy, name it. Six him. Oh. So, Mr. Flapjacks, where are you from? If you're out, you're across the pond, where are you at across the pond? I have a, I have a, a friend in Germany. Um, I don't really know anybody in Europe, give or take, like other than Germany. So let's try to slow these guys down. Spain, Barcelona, nice! You need the next myth Mythic Championship. That's awesome. That's very cool. Yeah, so it's not... The time difference in Spain is... Hey, Siri. What time is it in Spain? It's 12.47 a.m. in Madrid, Spain. <laughs> You're up kind of late, huh? It's 12.47. You better get to bed soon. I'm sure you got to work in the morning. <laughs> 12.47 a.m. So, yeah, there's a, there's a six-hour difference, right? That's cool. Next Mythic Championship. That sounds. That sounds fun. My guess is they're gonna do it in Barcelona, probably. I think that's usually where we have events out there. I feel you on that. I'm over here. I'm over here. Oh, too. I'm playing in a competitive league with the uh, Boros humans. So, 
Or soldiers, I feel you. Trying to always get better at magic. That's all we're ever trying to do, right? Soldier boy. So I'm going to play this Values Lieutenant first. Enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on each other human whenever another. Yeah, so I want to play that one first. Right? Yeah. So let's do that. Gotta keep this pressure on. I think that's all we can do here is just keep on attacking. Yeah, I do. I I, uh, I was in I was in Poland. I went to Warsaw um, a few years ago. Um, I think it was eh, maybe it was last year. I stopped in um, I stopped in Warsaw, Poland for the GP. That was a lot of fun. I'm trying to do some overseas trading, so um, you know that's always good. Uh, try and try my best to kind of exploit a little bit of the margins with the MKM market. You know how that goes if you're, you know, if you ever travel to the U.S. So, yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of fun going to overseas GPs. You get to do, you get to hang out, you get to have a good time. Uh, you know, try new food, tr see new people, and also, you know, you get to play magic, which is great. I didn't get to play any magic while I was there. I was working the whole time, but. It was a, uh, it was a lot of fun. It was, it was also us. I think it was. Let's see the. It was draft or sealed, one of the two. I think it was sealed, some type of sealed format. Yeah, so. Not really into that. Oh yeah, some of the prices here are just insane, just absolutely insane. But, you know, usually our market dictates what happens um, a lot of times overseas uh, with MKM. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun to, to know about different markets, um, especially with, you know, doing something that I love for a living. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, my, my German friend comes over here and we do a lot of trading through uh, what, you know, things are good for him and then things that are good for us. So it's a lot of fun. I'm sure all the new standard cards are just insane euro amounts over there uh, overseas on MKM and whatnot. I don't know how they are in um, at like maybe local shops near you if they're insane too or not, but I'm, my guess is yeah, they're probably pretty expensive. Yeah, it's, I think it's the CFB effect to be honest. I think uh, SCG is probably it helps to drive the prices up, but I think I think mainly it's the CFB because um, they tr you know they do overseas and so they're bringing they're bringing a lot of Magic cards over there too. They're they're taking off the market and jacking the price up too. So uh, supply and demand has a has a, is pretty big um, over there, and so that that definitely helps. We got to conflagrate in the graveyard, y'all. 
I feel like some bodies are about to get get dumped on. Bye bye, girl. See you later, Thalia. And we ripped a planes off the top. That is that is no bueno. All right, so we're gonna move to combat here. We're gonna get in with this Thalia's lieutenant. Bummer, man. Couldn't have drawn a body off the top or a mutant vault. All right, let's hit some. <laughs> let's hit submit deck this time, you guys. You guys ready for this? All right, so we're actually gonna sideboard this time. We beat him without rest in peace. Isn't that beautiful? Don't you love when that happens? All right, so let me try to remember what we what we take out of here. We're worried about the brave the elements, and I know uh, flapjacks. You were saying you weren't 100% sure about bringing in all three, but. Uh, what'd you say? Uh, let me scroll up here. So you were saying, uh, maybe two brave. Yeah, tide taker taking tide taker out. Yeah, I'd say tide taker was the weakest link. So, uh, so like I said, let's get these paths out of here. Let's get these lightning bolts out of here. I don't really think that they're exactly where we want to be. Um. I hate taking bodies out for non-bodies, though, you know? I start cutting bodies for Brave the Elements. It just seems seems counterproductive. So, yeah, let's leave this one Brave out of here. Maybe you're right. Because then that leaves us with exactly 60 cards. We don't have to take out more bodies. Uh, I like that, so. All right, let's, we went to game three against Dredge. That is awesome. I love it. I'm excited. I like winning a game. Oh, you were saying bolt the blocker. Gotcha, 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 yeah. For lethal. Yeah, that was weird that they blocked that way. Um, local shops around me are funny. I got you, price is fair. All right, double rest in peace. I think we're gonna keep that with a turn one. Wow, this hand's pretty cool. Moto, you're finally not being a jerk. Ooh, tap to tap to. Oof. That is very cool. Yeah, this hand is this hand is definite gas. This hand's pretty ridiculous. Um. All right, they got to go off pretty hard on us here. Just not playing anything either? That's crazy. cool to see against dredge have both of your pieces your dryad militant and your rest in peace with the with a rest in peace backup 
Man, it feels like I know what I'm doing. Alright, Team Rocket. Gonna have to hard, start hard casting some bodies here soon. Kithion, double Kithion, no! Bummer! So the question is do we run out a second rest in peace? I feel like we do. I feel like we do. goes the damage. Like field marshal here. Okay with that. Try to push some damage. I guess Thalia's just she's just gonna get kicked to the wayside here. Just drawing better threats right now. I needed two rests in peace, huh? <laughs> I needed all of it, you guys. I needed all of it. Every single bit of it. So now... Woo, we gotta push that damage. It might be too late for him. Because we got that Mute Vault out. We're gonna go Thalia. Gotta put a lot of bodies on the board. I don't know. I think they're behind. But we'll see. They're going to need a conflagrate, that's for sure. Best, best dredge turn of magic has to happen right now, I think. Right? Fla Flapjack says, holy shit. <sighs> I knew I had to go double rest in peace. It was just too... I don't know. You just get that feeling. Yeah, doing anything? What in the what? All right, let's force their hands, see what they're doing here before we move to combat. See what kind of sneaky tricks they got, because it's going to force them to not pay the extra one. OK, she's in there. She's in there with the swimwear. All right, Mutavault, get to getting, buddy. Get to getting. So why'd you let it resolve? What did you want to kill? Sure. Okay. Could have just done that anyways. Okay. You got it.
So they got one card in hand. How do they win here? I just, yeah, I just don't see how it's possible. That's crazy. Man, double rest in peace. That's how you get there. And they had the answer too. All right, so we were still gonna draw a couple bodies. So we weren't in terrible shape. We were pretty much in control of that whole match. So that's cool. Goodness gracious, I have never, ever X'd out of that I won the game. How do I get out of here? <laughs> I don't want to X out of this, right? Oh, I guess I, yeah, I do. I X out of this game. Got it. All right, cool. So we 2-1. Won. We 2-1 won there. So I like that, even with the little baby punt. That's cool. Uh, you spend your mana, maybe waiting for info. It doesn't really affect his play. He could still cast everything. Yeah, no, I, I... Yeah, they can still cast everything. It's just... I don't know. It just felt... Like I said, it felt like we were pretty much in the driver's seat, but it was very crazy that they had two... They had a lot of spot removal. They just, again, it was like what I talked about when I was bringing lightning bolts out and putting paths in. Like, if you have all that spot removal, you know, you're not actively overloading the board and, and being aggressive. So it's really difficult, very difficult to win that way. Especially with me playing so many creatures. Like, you, you just have to be, you gotta be in there. Not sure I really like them having, um, uh, I mean, I don't know. Dark Blast is, I guess Dark Blast is fine. They may have just drawn just too much removal is all. That's it. Alrighty. We won the die roll. That's what I like to see, baby. Double Mutavault. Again. Unreal, you guys. Unfucking real, man. How do I keep that? We're on the we're on the on the play. That's unreal. So it's the same hand minus a vial. I guess we're keeping this one. Because we got two creatures in it. I don't like that creature. I think we can draw something better than him. Always the Muta Vault first, right? Unless you have to bolt something at the end of turn. But we're kind of behind, so we're going to have to be aggressive. So I think we need to go turn one Muta Vault. <laughs> get spell snared and get wrecked, you guys. Woof. All right, well, all they needed to do was get rid of one thing, and they did it. <laughs> now we got this sick four lander. Wow. Spell snare into mutable? Wow, that's a weird one.
if we need to vial that out. I don't feel like we do. Hazee! I'm getting my Borosan. What's up, BB? Had to step in for uh, for my senior. That was supposed to be streaming tonight, but we got this. We're gonna do this. We're team awesome. We got to be on seven days, or else you know, wouldn't be it wouldn't be right for you guys. Just getting picked apart right now, has he? Oh, it's rough. It's hard times in the Shire for me. Mul the Mulligans have been pretty, they've been pretty poor. Um, you know, fairly good spirits. Oh, 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 the goose is loose, you guys. The goose is 100% loose. Oh, I need to stop it. I wish this was alcohol now. Yeah, I'm going to get beat down by a goddamn goose of St. Trap. Wow. Wow, wow, wooey, you guys. Wow, wow, wooey. Yes, I could have just activated Aether Vial there now that I think about it in response to him attacking with the goose. I don't really think that's going to matter too much, though. Targeting who? Targeting yourself? Um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Oh, it's looking at my hand? No! No! Why did the arrow go over the top of them? Fuck you, Moto! I fucking hate Moto sometimes. Uh, no, we're out of basics. I don't want to use it. Wow. I would have fucking bolted that goddamn thing if I would have known. Son of a. You son of a. Sorry, we're going to get him. We're going to get this goose of St. Trap off the board one way or another. I believe in us. All right. Let's play the second useless Aether Vial eight turns later, but we will try to sneak this Tide Taker in like we were supposed to with the Dryad Militant. Eh. They still had the path though, so it didn't really matter. Oh, don't have another path. That's not even fucking fair. Holy shit. Why? No, I don't have any left. Who are you? Are you some fucking grand wizard? How are you doing such things to me? Oh. Oh my god. You guys, why? Why is this my life right now? I want it to stop. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Fuck. Come on, Boros soldiers. You're better than this. We can't lose to Angelic Execution. What a good name, and they're playing Goose of Saint Traft. Unfucking believable. All right, so do we want to bring in Damping Sphere? No. Green and black, pro green and black. I mean, he puts a clock on, but is he better than any of these creatures? I don't think so. Stony Silence, rest in peace. Brave the Elements is pretty good here because we can use that as a counter spell. And then Path and our fucking dudes. Triple Path. Ah, oh, work is done for the day. Yeah, good, Z. I'm glad. I'm glad work's done for the day, man. I'm still, I'm still on the clock, you know. Still slinging those magic cards around, whether it's virtual or in real life. I gotta put in the work. But I'm gonna try. We just want we're we're one and two, so I got a feeling. I got a feeling I'm gonna at least win three rounds. I got a feeling we're gonna get out of this. All right, so I'm gonna trade the paths out again for the. I don't know why, I just feel like that's that's the right thing to do. I feel like I'm trading the paths out is good. Brain gets tired after the day is over trying to manage three departments of nine and nine people. Yeah, yeah, that'll happen. That will happen. I mean I just I just gotta manage Richie. And well, the stream team and help over at my brother's house. So yeah, I guess I got a lot of people to manage too, but I mean it's going it's going well. So I can't complain. All right, so we got creatures. We got spells. We can't cast this lightning bolt. I like this hand. Uh, we needed to hit a third mana, so we can really only cast two spells. We do have a cavern here, though, so I like that. Um, I like this hand. I believe that we are going to draw another mana source. I believe in us, so I'm going to keep this one. And it's not against better judgment because we also we've got these two hate pieces that are really really good. So I like this hand. Yeah. I mean, I've been, I mean, I can already tell that I'm, I'm, you know, uh, making some punts, you know, just because I, I worked the old nine to five today, you know, grinding away at the, at the magic cards, grinding away at the bulk. So it just happens that way. Usually on Fridays when I stream, I'll stream, uh, I won't be like, you know, up at seven o'clock grinding away looking at shit. <laughs> Vapor snag? Woof. Vapor snag. Man, I'm playing against some crazy ass shit today. First was like Bant weirdness. Now I'm playing against blue white. This is so weird. I don't know what to say. I mean, cool, but. No, we got triple field marshal. That seems pretty good. Hey, get back here. Get back here, Moto. All right, let's.
Let's attack. Let's see if he gets blocked. Always got to try it. <laughs> Always got to try it. Oh, so how does that work in the MTG game? Mostly online sales and such. Or is the in-store... Is the in-store a bigger... A bigger bulk? Um... I don't know. What do you mean? Like, uh, how does that work? Like, how does... I guess ex I guess explain that question a little better for me. Um, so basically, like, what my day is, is usually, like, you know, I just... I think I just picked up, like, 300,000 bulk cards, maybe, maybe close to 400,000 in the past week and a half. And so, um, you know, I've got to grind through that all day every day um so that's kind of where my workload comes from um we also have to manage the stream team which is uh you know six other guys other than myself it's not too hard to manage myself right but um yeah so that's that's another thing too um and then yeah the the online sales that we do um those are all those are all done you know throughout the day by uh my brother and his crew so we're separate separate but together Ooh, i misplayed i didn't play my dryad militant bomber i'm over here talking z but anyways, yeah, so that's kind of how that works. Yeah, yeah, three, <laughs> yeah, 300 to 400,000, uh, thousand, hundred thousand, that's, it's a lot. We bought a we bought a uh, store a couple weeks ago, so we're trying to slog through that. There was a lot there. There was about two hundred and fifty thousand cards, a uh, place out in Pennsylvania that we had we had purchased. Um, they were they were a smaller place, but um, it was cool. The guy that was guy that owned it was he was a really nice guy, and uh, he was just he owns a, a vape shop, so he was he was trying to transition and move and and do his thing, so. He was done with magic, he said. Don't path me out of this game. Click me during my upkeep. That's not fair. That's a handful of gas, though. All right, so now I know, look at that little, see that right there? It says the triggered ability is on the stack and targeting mom's basement streams. I'm learning, I'm learning. You don't have to worry about that because that's just, I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, so let's bolt. Let's bolt this thing, get this body off the board. Draw a step. Go ahead and resolve it. What do you want to tuck? You want to tuck that field marshal, I'm guessing. Triple field marshal's pretty good. I'll take a plane, so I'm not worried about that. All right, let's go champion. Let's go dryad militant. Let's activate this muta vault. Let's get them boys in there and beefed up, looking all sexy. And let's move to combat. Let's attack with that team. Get in there, team soldier boys! Yeet, yeet! Yeah, so... 
CZ. Uh, that would take forever and a day to sort by condition, and if they're any good, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I gotta be, I gotta be fast. I gotta be fast. Look at that. Look at, look at me getting fucking four for one. All right, Mutavault, you're our only hope. Trigger on the stack, I activate my Muta Vault. At least I'm paying attention to that, boys and girls. All right, Muta Vault. You can do this, buddy. You can get us there. Just don't get ghost quartered. Burn Flapjack, activate Muta Vault. Yeah, for the counter, for the, for the win. We did it, Burnt Flapjacks. We got there. I didn't forget, but I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're helping. Trust me, I I need all the help I can get. All right, so I think we're going to move to combat here. So let's see, whenever another human enters the battlefield. So we want to try to get some extra damage in here, so... Let's try to give this Thalia some extra, some extra juice. Got nothing left. We're all out of basics, just like last game. Snapcaster a major. Oh no, no Snapcaster major. Oh no! Path to exile. It's really bad for us, guys. We are just getting blue white controlled out of the game. You got it. We don't want to use it because we're all out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why. Snapcaster Mage is the best kind of mage. The goose is loose, y'all. The goose is loose. bolt their face. I don't give a shit. That's what I actually know how to do. I know how to play lightning bolt. We're not attacking. We are not attacking. We're at 19. We got all kinds of time, don't we? I don't know if we got time. They got four cards in hand. I'm kind of scared. Yeah. Here it comes. Here it comes, y'all. What do you think? Noise. Helping is generous. Yes. Oof. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> Restoration Angel! Mother of titties! <sighs> Lightning Bolt off the top one time. We already got two of them, so we need. We got two outs. The goose is loose! And it's killing us!
Well, there's one Thales Lieutenant. I guess that's helpful. Can't do anything but move through combat. Holy shit. Oh, this is nuts, man. This is nuts. God. It's so painful to watch a train wreck when you're actually the train wreck. It's weird. It's like you're in the front seat of the train <laughs> when the train <laughs> is falling off the rails it's 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 pretty rough i still believe in me though i definitely 100 percent believe that we can still get out of this game so i'm not i'm not saying that we're dead yet we're behind but i've been behind before no way no way do you have it again You got a vapor snake? Yeah, we got a flyer now, baby. We can block that resto angel. Oof. Oof. Oh no. Oh no. Stop playing Geist St. Traps, you son of a bitch. How do we get out of this, you guys? How do we get out of this? God, do we attack here? I don't think that really makes a difference if we attack here. Right? Because we need this flyer to block here. And then we need this to block. So we have this. So we need double bodies at least to, to block here. Because we're going to have a 4-4. Four, four. So we go to 3. So yeah, we can't attack. I th yeah, we can't attack at all. Can't even think about it. What was I thinking about? I want to win. I want to be aggressive. You play the fuck. Oh my god. The fuck it all card? Yeah. <laughs> Where you... Uh, I can't remember what it, is, what it was called, but... Uh, uh, god. Holy shit, you guys! I'm playing against the most insane decks today. Mm -hmm. uh, Dragon Lord Ojitai has hexproof as long as it's untapped. Yes, it does. Uh, whenever Dragon Lord Ojitai deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in any fucking order. Mm -hmm. I'm getting old school Dragons of Tarkir Elder Dragons jam down my throat right now this deck is very cool very cool god 
Damn it. And that's how you lose to Dragon Lord Ojitai. All right, hold on, guys. I can't... We can't go to the next match until I print screen the shit out of this. All right, let me let me get in the camera. Dra that's my Dragon Lord Ojitai face. Woo! All right, where's that fuck it magic card? Gotta find it. Images. Fuck it all magic card. It's gotta be in here somewhere. It's not. What is it called? Z, what is it called? Oh, the best is after that wall of text. Destroy target enchantment at, at the bottom. Planar cleansing or world fire. No, flapjacks. No, the meme card. Not destroy everything. Just there's this meme card that somebody made. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like sell all your magic cards. Uh, and then flip the table over. It's really fucking funny. It's good. All right, I guess we got to scoop. Sadly, we have to scoop, but, you know. We still had six minutes left. We could have we could have burnt six minutes of their time, but I don't. I think that's rude. All right, I'm going to draw a card. Let's see if it was a, a lightning bolt. Oh, it was Brave the Elements, you guys. We would have won. Oh, we would have chose blue and attacked, and then they wouldn't have been able to block, and we would have won. Why did I have to draw that card? Oh, never look at the top card of your deck. Damn it, what's wrong with me? Oh, that's so gross, you guys. So gross. Laugh at my pain, please. All right, we're 1-3. We got to win in. We're going to go 2-3. We have to. We don't have a fucking choice. Boro Soldiers is a good deck. I'm making it look bad. All right, so let's see. Here it is. Z says, right here, baby. As an additional cost to cast, that's fucking it. Discard your hand, pay 20 life, sacrifice all permanents you control, throw your library into the nearest trash can, <laughs> sell your house, and move to Norway. Or we could alter this for you, Flapjacks, and say, uh, move to Barcelona, right? Was that? Was that it? Yeah, move to Barcelona. So we just got to put Barcelona right here and we'll be good to go. <laughs> I love that card. I I wanted to re like I wanted to retweet that, but I think I only saw it on Facebook, so But yeah. You know what? I'm going to tweet that out tomorrow. It's too good. Yeah, it's just all all you're doing is just destroying target enchantment. That's it. You got to do all that in red just to just to blow up an enchantment. Too fucking funny, man. Hey, that's us. All right. We in there. Yeah, that card. Yeah, get re-addicted to MTG. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm not looking you guys i'm not looking i'm just hoping that there's not double mutavault there hey it's double cavern of souls i can handle that we can handle this hand you guys let's keep this it's not the worst thing i've ever seen they're going to they're thinking about going to five oh they think about going to four finally catching a break you guys holy shit we're finally catching a break sneeze that's trash got a john deck playing up did you really mull that hard with john i hope so because i'm just gonna go turn 
I'm gonna go turn two Thalia. They're gonna get rid of the Bremaz, I think. The Field Marshal's pretty good, but I don't know. I think they're gonna get rid of the... Oh, the Tide Taker? Man, I was so wrong. Hell yeah, baby. can see Kithy and flip this game. I don't think we will because there's probably so much spot removal, but let's let's hope to see this our little buddy flip. So mold of five three lander? That's pretty good for us. Oh no! I hit okay. I was supposed to fucking that up. That's alright though. That was just a little baby punt. It happens. Guess that was a bigger punt than I thought. So they know what we have. So we don't really need to bait anything. We just run it out. of the veil. Oh no. Bye Thalia, we'll miss you. That's a lot of bodies, boss. That's a lot of bodies. Bye, Riri. Bye, you, Riri. I'm not avail. We'll see you later. Ooh, the old five lander. This guy's drawn worse than we did last round. A Gurmy Gurm. That's a, that's a pretty decent sized Gurmy Gurm. Boy. 
Man, we're drawing hot potatoes right now. I won't even wait until he blocks. I'm just, I'm not even going to be mean. I'm just going to show him. Maybe he'll scoop now. Get in there. Meow. Meow, meow. Yes. Get to make cats. Yes. You guys, that was dirty, man. This is what this deck does. This is, look at this board. Mm, it looks good. All right. So what are we going to bring in against the old Junski? This guy's hot. Oh, man, this guy is a house if we draw that guy. Whew. Woof. Again, spot removal. I don't think Damping Sphere is going to be great here. So we're going to bring in five cards, right? So we got to take five cards out. It's just science. Uh, I think Lightning Bolt is semi-bad here. I guess we can, like, two for one. You know, maybe it's, like, do some combat tricks. Um, Dryad Militant, they're not really going to be snapping anything back, so he's kind of he's kind of going to be on the, the lower end of the spectrum of being good, but it's another body. So it's either we take the paths out or we take the bolts, some of the bolts out. I think... The answer is take the bolts out. I mean, we gotta keep this thing creature heavy. I think I might cut a vial too. Since we're on the since we're on the draw. Rest in Peace could be okay against Tarmogoyf and um, also against Scavenging Ooze. So we could possibly turn those guys into just zero, 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 zeros. And we don't need to worry about our graveyard, so maybe we just do that. Maybe we just, maybe that's another way of being, being able to get around those guys. I think I like that idea. Let's try it. Because those are their big ass fatties, you know? So let's try that out. See if that helps us. I'm okay with that. Not bad. I like that. I don't love it, but we're on the draw. It's a four lander. We got lands. We got creatures. We got a we got a muta vault. So, I mean, what else can we ask for, right? There we go. Beautiful. Hello, champion! Come, come, come! Join the party! Just don't get bolted. We'll be very happy. Raging Ravine tapped. Nice, I like it. Nice and slow start. Oh, baby, look at that draw. Hmm, I like it, I like it. Fetal push. 
You got it. You got that fetal push. All right, let's six it out of here. So I got to be careful with this Mirren Crusader. Got to play around Liliana the Veil. Now they're on two lands, so they didn't hit another land drop. So that's good news. That's a nice draw. What's wrong with you, Moto? Why are you broken? Can I help you, Moto? Oh, it's a human knight. <gasps> oh, you guys. Oh my goodness, it's a human knight. Oh, wow. Ooh. Dang. Wow, that is a weird one. I'm like, Moto, are you broke? What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, you're not broke, Moto. You're not broke at all. Josh's face is broken along with his mind. He doesn't know what he's doing right now. He's trying to cast a human knight off of a fucking cavern naming Soldier. That is so unfortunate. Wow. That was like, literally that was the game right there. Wow. We land that Marine Crusader. Oh no! You're not worried about the Mirror Crusader? Or you're just gonna thought seize it away? I'm interested to see. Oh, Bob, okay. Well, you see that I can't cast it, but ew, even then, make it let me keep that? That's very scary stuff. Think we need to rush it here, right? This Bob's gonna get out of control, you guys. Verdant catacombs. Wow, so good at magic. Flipping, flipping that off the Bob. I can hope for is to land this crusader next turn. Shit. Getting rid of that brave the element sucks dick, but man, if I can land this guy. 
Holy shit, I did it, you guys. God, this is a weird matchup. This matchup's so tough, especially when they land Bob. Oh, stop! No, stop! That's too good! Uh, stop drawing lands off that thing! That is insane! Fuck! Blood Braid Elf. Woof. Oh, what? Stop. Fucking stop. Thank you. You keep the bob. I'll let you keep gambling. Trigger Bob. Don't hit a land. Oh my god. Oh. How? How? Make it stop, Moto. Stop the fucking madness right now. No, I will not block Dark Confidant. There's that scavenging ooze. There's that Tarmogoyf. The rest in peace are in there. God, this game is so weird. Why didn't you eat the other one? Weird. This guy's next leveling me. He didn't eat the other one with the Raging Ravine. Because there was another creature in there.
Come on, Bob. Don't do this to me again. Liliana's triumph. Come on, Mirren Crusader. You can get there, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. Totally believe in you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Puts me to four. Um, yeah, so that doesn't matter. I guess I had to try. All right, let's see if they die to that Bob trigger. Choose a color. Oh, why can't I do that? So target player discards a card. Cole against command does two damage to any target. Okay, so that's going to be two damage to that target. And uh, Cole against... Yeah, okay, so I'm going to cast this in response. God, I'm one damage short, you guys. One damage short. Wow. Wow. So I can survive another turn? Really enjoyed the stream, even if the bad beats. Good night. Good night, Flapjacks. Love that name, man. Appreciate you following us. Come back. Oh, God. Uh, Mirror Crusader, come on. So we're down one. We can't live this turn. We can't live next turn. We don't have enough blockers, you guys, because we got Raging Ravine coming at us, too. Unfucking believable, man. I don't know how we could have played this any differently. I guess we don't block last turn. We just go to four. But then, even if we don't block last turn, it doesn't even matter. All right, so let's go to the next game.
I'm running this back like this. I like how this is. Yeah, we don't have bolts to help close out the game. But I just don't think bolts are really going to do it for us. Like, we want to bolt a Bob early. You know, to have something like that not happen again, but... I don't know what we take out. We'd have to take out the Path to Exiles and switch them in for the bolts. And then that's bad, because we need to get rid of Tarmogoyf. I think I want to take these Brave the Elements out. I really do. Bring these lightning bolts back in. If the board gets clogged up, though, the Brave the Elements help us just win the game. But this is more aggressive. All right, let's try it this way. Wow. Thanks, Moto. Ooh, the one landers with all the two drops and the lightning bolt. What do I do? Why? What do I do? How do I... So it's the same thing, just minus a fucking lightning bolt. So what do I do? Say, oh, I can't go to four because they're, they're, they kept seven. And so I just got to hope there's a land on top. Because now I, I, I can't cast any of this shit. So if I draw, I need to draw like an Aether Vial or a land to even be in this. It's another creature I can play, but it's not going to get us there. Wow. This is hardcore. On the backs of Kithian, hero of Akros. For the horde. For the soldier horde. Wow. Well, hey. Oh, man, they're going to be like, oh, I feel bad for this guy. <laughs> Mulligan to five, had to keep this dog shit. Sort of. don't know how we get out of this one with them keeping seven because like fetch fetch shot get a tarmogoyf here is just like we just die to one tarmogoyf sorcery creature land three four like we can't even beat a three four right now we need to go to see like a rest in peace or
We can try to flip Kithian. That's what we could try to do. But we gotta hope that they don't have any spot removal for next turn. Man, we need to top deck a Lord. Yeah, see, Kithian's just too good. <laughs> That's crazy when you say Kithian's too good. That is crazy. Words I never thought I would say. Well, we're not drawing the worst, I'll tell you that. You know, for mulling down to five, we're not drawing absolutely awful, so. Dunkaroos. Wow. We draw the rest in peace when we need bodies. Damn. That's rough. We need bodies, baby. We need bodies. Shit. Raging Ravine right off the top. Come on, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> we can't beat a Blood Braid Elf into Collective Brutality. How good. How fucking good. Shit. Shit. Well, hey, even if it was tough beats today and bad mulligans and shit, man, I still... I put... I punted the first two games a little bit, so I'm not I'm not too worried about it, but man, this deck is so much fun to fucking play. I love this deck. I want to play it more. It's so cool. Shit. <laughs> Maelstrom Pulse the rest in peace. So rest in peace was good here, guys. It sure was, so... It wasn't a bad plan. Man, am I staying alive or what? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, uh, of course. I knew it was going to be an Inquisition or a Thought Seize, and then I'd have to make the decision here, so... So what do we get rid of, right? Now the Tarmogoyf's gonna keep growing. He's gonna get out of control faster than the, the Blood Braid, but the Blood Braid's killing us now versus killing us later. And we're at 10, so. Goodness gracious, you guys. Goodness gracious. Need to see a lord, baby. We need to see a lord. We're still going to die to this raging ravine, though, so. <laughs> Holy 
fuck? Oh my god. I love it. I love it. Very, very gorgeous. Ooh, baby. Bye, Thalys, Lieutenant. You were a good little you were a good little pup while you were here. But you dead now. Go to four. Lightning bolt off the top. Yeah, so bringing the lightning bolts back in was was pretty good. You know, if we could have been a little bit more aggressive, I think uh, maybe came out of the gate a little bit faster. But just not, I mean, just being able to beat a Tarmogoyf is really, really hard with this deck. So I, I'd have to say that, you know, you you really do. You need some, you need rest and peace in this matchup. I just, I think it's, I think it's necessary because Tarmogoyf just gets so much bigger than all your guys. And that's what you're trying you're trying to do and it's it's hard to go wide you know to go super wide so um yeah it's rough all right so if we just go if we go bolt here we're just gonna want to bolt ourselves we'll just concede the match get into this uh this deck uh debrief let's see what were we gonna draw Militant, Tide Taker, eh, just not a, just not a good round. So, okay, so we went one and four, like I said, uh, a little bit of punt action, uh, not a whole lot of anything that was insane punt wise. Uh, like I said, it, when I, when I, I actually called out the punts and then I, we went back and kind of, and kind of looked at it and said, all right, we're still going to lose there. Um, you know, we could have bought ourselves some turns so if you go back and look, it's um, the punts weren't awful. Now we only won three games. Uh, it felt like we we were in there a lot more than what we what our record shows. But um, I, I mean, again, like I said, I I really truly mean that that I want to play this deck more. Um, and like I said, the there's not a whole lot of Boros Modern content out there, Boros Soldiers uh, content. So uh, I think. I think just uh, going through and make maybe uh, trying to play this deck a little bit more, getting a little bit better at it, is something I'm going to try to do. So uh, I like the Aether Vials. Still like the Aether Vials, even though the Boros Soldier guys say, don't play the Aether Vial. I still like the Aether Vial. I really, really love Dryad Militant today versus the other guy, which was... Let's pull him up. Uh, where is it? It was on our, uh, there we go. There's, oh, look at, there's that sweet little face. So, Soldier of Pantheon, protection from multicolored spells. Whenever an opponent casts a multicolored spell, gain a life. So, I do, I really do like the, um, the Dryad Militant over the Pantheon. I just think he does a lot more work. He was really, really good. Um, in that blue-white matchup, that weird-ass blue-white matchup that we played, that we lost to. Um, it was really, it's really good against Dredge. You know, they don't get to flash back their Faithless Looting, because that's what I talked about at the beginning uh, mm -hmm. of the league. So, uh, and it, it worked out pretty well. Uh, they don't get to, uh, they don't get to use their, um, what is that, two-drop green? Um, uh, Life from the Loam. So, Life from the Loam gets out of there. Uh, so I, I, I really do like Dryad Militant in in the current meta. I think it's very good. Mm. I know there's some, you know, some people are going to look at it and say, ah, I think Pantheon's better at this time. So, but again, I've, I've been able to play this deck every three months now. So hopefully I'll be able to play a little bit more. Um, I don't know if I like having four vials, four bolts, and three paths in here. I felt like there was not, there was a lot of times where I just want to draw a creature. And so I think you really, really need to, if you're going to play this deck and you're going to play it well, 
I think you need to think about your choices of uh, the Aether Vial, the Lightning Bolts, and the Paths. I like the Paths, but I think there needs to be some number of these trimmed. Whether it's cut the Paths all together, um, or you just maybe you just go up on you go up on the uh, to four Paths and then you cut the three Lightning Bolts. I don't really. I think with this deck being aggressive and you needing to top deck a lightning bolt a lot, I think really. I think the paths need to get moved into the sideboard, um, or you just maybe go down to one, add a couple more creatures in, and you keep three bolts, one path. Uh, but and the other thing too is I added another Kithion, and I did not like that because when I drew double Kithion when I didn't want to draw it. And it was another thing. It's like, you should probably, there's just so many soldiers out there, you know. Um, I would have liked this to be a fourth Dryad Militant or, you know, maybe even a uh, a one of the guy that I said don't put back in here just now. So, you know, I mean, either way, uh, you want more one drops. And I think the two drops, I think that's that slot's fine. I even think the three drops are fine. I just think that you need some more one drops. You could maybe put a couple more two drops in here, but I like the field marshals. I like the brimas. I like love the Thalia. This thing is so good. Um, and I didn't really get to play this card, so I would have liked to see it in action, but I wish there was a combo in this deck, you know? I wish there was some sort of like Anafenza combo, uh, like the Malera Anafenzo type of deal, um, you know, where you could have maybe some sort of some sort of combo that would give this deck some extra reach. Uh, I think in the current meta, I don't believe Mirren Crusader is anything but a sideboard card. Um, Stony Silence is kind of meh right now. It's not the greatest. Uh, Rest in Peace is just insane. It's so good. Um, the Brave the Elements, I like the Brave the Elements, but we just didn't get to see it shine like it, like it could have. Uh, I know we drew a card... Um, in game three, and we would have won uh, if we would have top decked the Brave the Elements. So this card's very, very powerful. Mm -hmm. It just needs to be used properly, and it needs to be sideboard sideboarded in properly. Uh, we mm -hmm. never got to bring in the damping. Well, we got to bring it in against um, our one matchup um, mm -hmm. early, um, but these mm -hmm. two right here, I don't know. I mean, I know you need to kill an ensnaring bridge. I get that, you know, but I'm just not 100% sure that. Um, that wear tear is where you want to be at in the sideboard, but I could be wrong. I know there's, like I said, you can't you can't really beat an ensnaring bridge because you can't you can't kill them. You're just a straight creature based deck. So not having that extra combo or ways around it, you probably just need it in there. So feels like a slot that you know I wish you could have a creature in here that would you know also act as. Uh, spot removal for artifacts but you just you in uh, red white you just don't you know you don't have that ability um, so there could be a human in red maybe that does it but I don't I don't believe so I think there's a goblin that may do it but can't think of it right now so again guys I I, uh, I appreciate you guys uh, you know holding in there and 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 watching me go one four but uh i think this deck is really really good and if you want to practice with this deck i, I think this deck is better than just an fnm deck to be honest i really do i think it's great right now so we just need more people to play it that's it just need more people to build more content and play it so but if you guys can please check us out we're on seven days a week um and this is uh, who's on seven days a week. We've got uh, we got Russ on Mondays. He's our eight, our eight rack guy usually. Uh, we got a lot of legacy on modern or uh, excuse me a lot of legacy on Mondays. Some standard legacy on Tuesdays. Uh, we also have uh, a uh, um, our gentleman that plays on Wednesdays. He is running standard, so he's on arena. And then we have some uh, commander and um, memeing going on. Um, and some modern the rest of the week. Also, check out our monthly giveaway. It will be happening in two days, May 30th, um, probably around 8 o'clock. So if you guys uh, see this and you're looking at uh, looking at this on YouTube, which is Mom's Basement Games YouTube, 
You can uh, scroll down to the description. You can click on the description. It will then take you back to our Twitch and you guys can follow us there. If you follow us, you're entered in to win the War of the Spark box that we're giving away in just two days here. And you guys can also um, subscribe to our channel, uh, which uh, helps us to uh, build content, helps guys um, get their, uh, their, their tickets for League. And so um, you also get a, another one for that uh, entry. And if you go to our Patreon to help us with our content building, yeah, you get a third one. So check that, check all that stuff out. And I uh, will see you guys on Friday for maybe some modern, maybe some legacy. I'm not sure yet. So take care, guys. Have a good night.